Let's talk about percent. Percent means out of 100. You could actually take this and rearrange it. Take the little one there, put it here. Take the zero, put it there. Take that zero, put it there. It's out of 100. That's what percent means, per 100. 100, that's what percent is, out of 100. So percent, percent means out of 100. Can you see there's a one, a zero, zero? percent, right, 100, there's the one, there's the two zeros, 100, so 13 out of 100 pieces, we have 13 out of 100 pieces, so we could put this here as 10 plus 1, 2, 3 more pieces, so 10 plus 3, 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 out of the 100 squares, see there's 13 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 squares out of the 100 squares. The, red, the big red block has 100 squares in it. And uh, we can write that as 13 out of 100. This really says the same thing, 13 out of 100, 13 out of 100. And then if we want to turn it to a decimal, it's really talking about well, what kinds do we have? Well, we have one of the blue kind and three of the green kind. One of the tenths and three of the hundredths. That just means 13 out of 100. So here's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13. So 13 out of 100. 13%. We could write that as 13 out of 100. Now, this is the hundredth kind on the bottom, which means that it is one of these little green ones. Each, each hundredth is a little green one. One out of 100. And we need 13 out of 100, so we're going to change the color here to green. And you can see now that we have 13 hundredths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hundredths. Okay? Now if we want to change it to a decimal, we have zero whole ones. And we have, let's change this color again to blue, one tenth. One tenth, which is the blue one. See, there's one of them. And we have one, two, three hundredths. So what I like to do is ask the kids to change colors. So for 13%, we would have 10 plus 3, 10 plus 3 percent. And that adds up to 13 out of 100. The red one has 100 little squares in it. And we only have 13 squares. So 13%. Then for 13 hundredths, we can change the color again. We can change the color to green. So now we have 13 of the green squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of the green squares, which are the hundredths. Again, each of these little green squares is 1 out of 100, and we have 13 out of 100. 13 of 100 equal parts. Okay, then we change the color again, and we have tenths. This is the same size you can see, but I'm just changing the color. So we have one blue tenth and three green hundredths. And we write tenths here and hundredths here. So you can see it's actually a fairly simple model. Um, you don't even have to change the colors. You could simply just have it like this, and then you'd have 13%. You can see that I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pieces out of 100, 13 squares out of 100 squares, which is the same as 13 out of 100, which is the same as 1 tenth and 3 
um, three hundredths. But then if you wanted, you could use greens instead of pinks. And so that way you can see there's one, two, three of those, one of those, and three of those. Let's talk about the fra having a fraction first, so one-fifth. Okay, so one-fifth. It's one out of five equal pieces. So I'm going to split my hundred, hundred block into five equal pieces. And this tells me that I need five equal pieces, one, two, three, four, five, and this tells me just to take one of those five equal pieces. Okay, so that's 20, as you can count this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's the same as 20 squares out of 100 squares. You can see I don't have all the squares, I only have 20 of them. And that is the same as 20%. And if I want, I can change this to green. So one, two, three. Oh, I don't really want to count 20 of them. I'm a bit on the tired side today. So instead of doing that, I'm going to use my multi hundredths. There's 10 hundredths. There's 20 hundredths. Can you see how I've now changed it to green? Now, I still have 20%. You can see it's the same as orange. Okay, but now you can see it's a different color, a different kind, right? It is 20 um, hundredths. Now, if I want to go to a uh, decimal, I can just change from green to blue. And these are tenths. Each of these is one tenth, one tenth, two tenths. Whereas over here, each of these was 10 hundredths, 20 hundredths, right? So now I have no whole ones, and I have two tenths. Now if I want to write it differently as a decimal, I can go back to hundredths and write it as twenty hundredths, which is still just the same as two tens and no hundredths. Can you see the difference? Twenty green versus two blue. Again, you don't actually need to change the color. There's one fifth, which is the same as 20 out of 100, which is the same as 20%, which is the same as one tenth, two tenths, which is the same as 20 hundredths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 hundredths. What if we start with a decimal first, like this? Well, how do we get our model? Well, that says that we have two tenths, so one tenth, two tenths, and five hundredths. So two blue and five green. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have two blue and five green. Well, now I can see that that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 out of 100. And 25 out of 100, as you can see, is 25%. It really is that simple. Now, if I want, I could change this to all green so that it represents the 25 hundredths, right? 25 hundredths. Or I could leave it like this, and it is 2 tenths, 5 hundredths, right? Which is the same as 25 hundredths, right? You could also put 2 tenths. Well, that's five hundredths. Well, two tenths is the same as twenty hundredths. So we could just go twenty hundredths plus five hundredths, which equals twenty five hundredths.